Marvin Harrison Jr. is somebody that I personally coming into last year's draft thought was the consensus, and I mean consensus, best player. It wasn't close for me. So going into the 2024 season, my expectations might be a little higher than most people, or they're on par. Because according to PFF, this is where they have him ranked at. This is the predictions that they have for him, and they're pretty spot on with what I have. I will show you guys mine in a second. We'll dissect that in just one bit. But as you guys see, 93 receptions, almost 1,300 yards, finishing with 1,294 and six touchdowns. I feel like that is a very respectable rookie year, kind of like Puka Nakua's, but it's obviously not in that same tier because Puka cracked 1,408 touchdowns. Actually, Puka finished with six, so this would tie it, but these stats are very similar. So obviously, PFF thinks that Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to get a very similar workload to Puka Nakua last year, which Marvin Harrison is statistically going to have one of the best rookie seasons on paper. That's the prediction, and that is the consensus from everybody. Everybody believes in Marvin. It's honestly kind of weird seeing someone in Arizona, especially a rookie get a ton of respect because normally we draft busts. So I'm not used to this, but it is kind of cool getting to predict Marvin Harrison Jr.'s rookie stats. I think he is going to have a phenomenal year. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. But before I do real quick, drop your predictions down in the comment section below for Marvin Harrison's entire season. And if you think we're going to make the playoffs, drop his playoff stats as well. That could be a little far-fetched, but let's go ahead and dive into my stat predictions right now. So here's what we're going to do. Everything is blacked out right now, but we are going to go with targets. I'm going to go receptions. I'm going to go receiving yards and I am going to go total touchdowns as well. So if you guys want to copy me and follow Sue, that is exactly the four that I am predicting today. So let me know yours down in the comment section below, but let's go ahead and start with the first one at the very top. We're going to go targets. I think he is going to total 130 of them. 130 targets is an absolute ton. And I'm going to kind of show you guys how I kind of got to this number. Obviously, it is very relative. It is very subjective. Like you can just throw any number out here and it doesn't matter because you don't know. I believe though that with Kyler Murray, he does love to target his wide receiver ones. And Marvin Harrison is going to get an insane workload as we saw with DeAndre Hopkins. It's obviously not an insanely fair comparison, but it's just a little sample and a little tease of what Kyler Murray can do with a wide receiver one who is legit. So DeAndre Hopkins back in 2020 had 16 games total played, got 115 receptions on 160 targets, 1,400 yards, and six touchdowns. Going into the next two seasons, though, Hopkins would miss a lot of time, so it's very hard to come up with those stats, but, like, at the end of the day, you can kind of come up with a fair share of them, and you can get, like, a decent little prediction and show how much Kyler Murray would love to target his wide receiver one, and he does that a ton. So I think this does help us kind of come to the 130 range, because DeAndre Hopkins was getting force-fed the ball. I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be in a very similar situation. Then you can obviously compare him to Puka Nakua, who had one of the most phenomenal rookie seasons of all time, who had 160 targets with Cooper Cup down for the majority of the season, six total touchdowns, almost 1,500 yards, and 105 receptions. If you believe Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to have a phenomenal rookie season and one of the best of all time, you can kind of use this as a template, kind of like a sample, I guess. I mean, that's kind of what I did, but I think he is going to get a lower workload because we do have Trey McBride. We have Michael Wilson. I think they're going to get a lot of targets as well. You even have Greg Dortch coming out in the slot. I think with Cooper Cup in, Puka Nakua doesn't obviously have a year like this. But who knows? Maybe he does crack 115 targets regardless and crack a thousand yards like you never really know it's hard to predict those things but puka balled out and i think marvin harrison jr is going to be in a very similar situation cracking 30 less targets but that's still pretty dang good 130 to 160 i mean i think marvin harrison is going to get one of those big old workloads then we're going to go to the second stat where we have receptions which i have him totaling 87 out of 130 that is not a bad percentage to haul in let's see how good my math is what is that like 67 percent 68 percent let me do the math real quick it is 66.9 that is a very solid percent to bring in. I think he is going to total 87 receptions, close to that 90 range. And then we're going to move over to the next stat where we have six touchdowns. Didn't mean to do this one, but we are going to say he has six total touchdowns, which would tie Puka Nakua last season. I think the Cardinals are going to have an insanely dominant run game. And we're going to be powering a lot of touchdowns in through the running game. The Cardinals have made it no secret that they want to run the football. They're going to run a lot of 13 personnel. They have James Conner, one of the best power backs in the entire league, arguably a top 15 running back last season. They just drafted Trey Benson who I think is the best running back in the draft. They drafted Tip Reeman, who excels in blocking. In the third round, everyone looked at that and were puzzled, but the Arizona Cardinals have a vision. They want to run the football. So if the Cardinals total 15 plus rushing touchdowns, 20 plus rushing touchdowns on the season total, do not be surprised. But Marvin Harrison being able to total six, I just think he is unstoppable. Once he gets into the red zone, he is borderline unstoppable, like I just said. Good luck winning a jump ball against this guy. If you want to throw a one-on-one -on -one and you want a 70-30 ball, like Trey McBride said in the offseason, give 
him the freaking opportunity and he will make a play. I'm very confident in Marvin Harrison Jr. if you give him those chances and I think he is going to be fantastic for this team. And this number could easily be a lot higher. If you have Marvin Harrison going for 8 to 12 touchdowns, that is very possible. The dude could be a touchdown magnet. In college, he was literally racking in 14, 12 like it was nothing. I just think people are going to lock in and the NFL talent versus college talent is a lot different. But honestly, I could see Marvin Harrison cracking 8 touchdowns. 6 might be a low ball and I might be disrespecting him crazy right now. Eight Eight touchdowns is probably what I would change it to. Somewhere to that six to eight range. I'm not gonna change it for today's video. I already wrote six, but if he does crack eight, I wouldn't be surprised. His red zone ability plus his big play ability, like I genuinely think Marvin Harrison could crack big time numbers. The yards could be a low ball too, but hey, who knows? I think this gives Kyler a big body receiver that he is going to love to target in the red zone and just love to target in general. And if he gets to eight touchdowns, I could see it, but I'm rocking six. Then going to the final stat, we are going to go to his total yards where I have him cracking a thousand with a 1,086 on the season. These stats could honestly be a little low. And the reason I did that is because I do think Marvin Harrison will miss a single game. And that's why I kind of took this off. So I think this will be with a 16 game sample size. I think he will miss one game. It's hard to predict that because you have to put it in. You have to account for it. Not everyone's going to play 17 straight. So I'm going to just throw that in. Say it's like a fluky game that he's going to miss for something. They're going to rest and make sure he's good for the next week. And then he's going to play the rest of the year. But these are the stats right here. 130 targets, 87 receptions, 1086 yards and six touchdowns. I think those are pretty spot on. I like my predictions. Obviously, PFF and me are very similar. I actually didn't use that as a template, but I saw that like right before I recorded this. So it was kind of nice to see that I'm kind of spot on with them. PFF doesn't mean anything to me though. Their grades are horrible and sometimes they are absolutely buns, but sometimes they're pretty accurate and they give you a fair share of players. And those are just their predictions. I've seen everybody predicting Marvin Harrison over a thousand yards. So if it does happen, do not be surprised with the Kyler Murray, Marvin Harrison connection. I think there's going to be a massive workload there. And I think the only thing that would legitimately stop Marvin Harrison for having a nasty season, like a Puka Nakua historic year is either one Marvin Harrison Harrison goes down with an injury, which knock on wood does not happen. I want to see him play a full 17. I'm hoping that happens. I want to see him on the field as many games as possible. If that's the case, we are going to win a ton of them. And then the second being is Kyler Murray's health as well. That is a massive variable in all of this. If Kyler Murray stays healthy for the majority of the season, then I think there is no doubt that Marvin Harrison cracks these numbers or even better. Like there's a chance he has way better numbers than this and has a Puka type season with more touchdowns. Like we really don't know. But if both of them stay healthy. There is no doubt in my freaking mind that they both will have amazing years. So do not be surprised if he has a phenomenal rookie season or breaks Pukunakua's records. But with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you're a fan of the Arizona Cardinals or the NFL perfect channel for you. And remember, drop those stat predictions down in the comment section below. But like I said, that is all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. Hello.